Okay, I'm going to be doing the elephant toothpaste experiment and I'm super excited about it. I've always wanted to do this, but I just never have. So I'm glad I get to do it now. Um, I got my sink running to get me some warm water to put our yeast in. Um, I don't have a flask, so we're going to just use the cup. Um, but we've got our hydrogen peroxide, um, some yeast, I've got some food coloring, and that's all we needed. So let's get this poured and started. I didn't see how much I need, so we're just going to experiment and see what happens. And then I've got this Congo red coloring. Okay, that's probably plenty. Let's see. I'm going to pour some of this um, yeast into a cup. I just got the instant yeast. Figure it wasn't a bad thing. Looks like we got some warm water. Cut that in there. And we're going to give it a quick stir. Oh, soap! That's what I forgot. And I have dish soap! Pour some of that in there. Glad I remembered. I've been really sad if that didn't work. Um, so the point... Oh, sorry. Probably hear my baby talking to me back there. Um, so the point of this experiment is we're making an exothermic reaction. So we're releasing heat with oxygen. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, I love that. So you can see it spilling over. It kind of reminds me of like a cauldron. Um, I saw some videos where if you use like um, some potassium iodine that it would explode and get all foamy and I think that would sound cool. But this is also pretty cool. I'm very pleased with this. Still going, don't wanna to touch it yet. I think it worked. So when the yeast um, mixed with the water that activated the yeast, um, it reacted with the hydrogen peroxide and the soap um, to give us an exothermic reaction um, and release heat and release the reaction out of the cup. So that's where we get our foamy stuff. It looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it.